Hello and welcome to Arthur Knight Shoes. My name is Arthur Gibbs and in this video we'll be taking a closer look at some Oliver Sweeney shoes. Right here in front of me I've selected five Oliver Sweeney shoes. They're all from the latest collection. A bit of a mix for you. So we've got the Henwood version 2 cup sole trainers in grey suede. Over here we've got Knoll, which is the uh, the black Derby lace-up style with a plain toe. This is our single buckle Monk Brogue, and I've turned it on its side. You can see it's got a very interesting lime green Goodyear welted leather sole. Over here you've got the luxury navy blue suede uh, trainers. And finally we have the classic Oxford wing cap Brogue in antique tan. So if I just say a couple of words briefly about Oliver Sweeney, the brand, in fact the person, and uh, what the, the whole image is about. So Oliver Sweeney, it's not just a made up name, it's actually uh, a gentleman that was um, born in the 1950s and really the brand took off and came into prominence sort of in the 80s to 90s. Um, and then from there it's really grown into a global um, global mark. Now unfortunately due to ill health Oliver Sweeney my understanding is that he's not involved with the day-to-day -day running of the business today but um, I have met what they call their cobbler-in-chief a gentleman called Tim Cooper and he is uh, an absolute fountain of knowledge when it comes to footwear and design manufacturing leathers everything you can possibly imagine. It was a real pleasure to speak to him and uh, the brand is in terrific hands. Uh, I'll go through some of the touches that um, Oliver Sweeney himself first incorporated and, and those touches still run on within the shoe collection today. So if we dive straight in, let's have a look at this model here. So as I said earlier it's Henwood uh, 2. Now this is what we call a cup sole construction. So that means this whole sidewall unit here is vulcanized. It's a very strong, robust construction, but flexible and comfortable at the same time. So the unique features about this particular shoe include the contrast tobacco suede tongue and also on the heel here. You'll also see a couple of tab stitches. Now they're functional, but also offer a, a nice design touch there. A lot of shoes don't don't have such features. The best thing about the Oliver Sweeney range, I'll just turn this one on the side uh, back to front here, you've got a very unique O and S uh, stitching at the heel. Now a lot of their shoes will carry that and that's one of the signatures that Oliver you know invented um, back when he was designing the collection for the first time. Turn it over, just a classic durable non-marking sturdy rubber sole. If you look inside it's got a very very nice anatomically contoured cork footbed so not only does that cushion your foot during wear and it's incredibly comfortable but also uh, absorbs any sort of odour moisture as you go about your day. So that's the Henwood 2. Move on to this one. Classic round toe, plain, very very simple but still carries a few of the unique Sweeney touches. That tab stitch that I mentioned on the Henwood, you've now got a double tab, tab stitch here on the facings. Slightly quirky purple laces. Some customers choose to change them to black, but uh, we like the purple. The tongue has got a lovely blue piece of leather here just to contrast and break up some of the, uh, the black um, blackness of the shoe reflected in the insole there as well. This particular model doesn't have the ONS because it's part of the Sweeney London collection. So the difference is uh, indicated here by the, the blue box as opposed to the black. The Sweeney collection is more of an entry level um, diffusion range if you like. So we would retail this at Arthur Knight Shoes approximately around £150, whereas um, a style that we'll come onto later, the Goodyear Welted range, they start at least 280 pounds. So that's the main difference there. Why is this shoe a little bit more economical? Well, 
it's not Goodyear welted, it's it's just Blake stitched. So this stitching here is genuine on the sole, but um, it's not Goodyear welted, which is a more time consuming, some would say more robust construction. But it's a highly specified, very, very nice work shoe, which um, we've had in the collection at Arthur Knight for at least five years. Okay, let's have a look at the luxury navy blue suede sneaker. Now, this is brand new to us. It's been an absolute sensation. Um, very, very stylish, not too loud. Nothing going on here which would put, you know, the more conservative person off. You've got a Oliver Sweeney branding here on the side, which is very subtle. Again, you've got that ONS stitching uh, mark at the back there, which just identifies this and sets it aside from cheaper alternatives. So you've got high grade, full grain uh, suede panels here with a robust um, mesh insert, lovely padded white leather um, heel counter here, made on, again, a durable outsole, but with this ultra lightweight white midsole here, which provides a lot of cushioning. And this shoe really is lightweight, but has substantial wear properties. Fantastic with denim, denim really good with chinos, um, very versatile, luxury trainer. Okay, this is our single buckle uh, wing cap brogue. So the wing cap or wing tip as some of the uh, Americans um, would name it, refers to this W-shaped um, stitching um, and pattern here that we see at the front. You've got the bronzed square buckle, which is functional. So this will undo, open up, um, and it's elasticated here as well, which is the sort of touch that premium brands like Oliver Sweeney really think about. They take into consideration so many different factors, but the one thing that for me I would say makes Oliver Sweeney stand out is the comfort and the fit of their shoes. You'd think shoemakers, they have one job to make a shoe that fits, but you would be amazed at how many shoes either fit too tight, too large, they're loose at the back, the heels don't clip you properly. They really don't understand it, but Tim Cooper, as I mentioned before, he wear tests, fit tests, everything that comes out of Sweeney um, before it hits the shops. So you can rest assured that a model like this is, okay, a model like this will need a, a little bit of breaking in. It is Goodyear welted. It's a little bit more robust than say, you know, even even the, uh, the, the knoll that we mentioned earlier. But once this is broken in, take a couple of weeks. It's a real investment. You're, you're going to enjoy these shoes. They're gonna hold up. They've got full leather linings, really an elegant, beautiful model. So they call this leather brown. I'm looking at it now. It looks more like a, a chestnutty burgundy than a brown, but it's very attractive. It's hand antiqued. And this particular model comes with the painted lime green sole with brass pins, quarter rubber top piece, Goodyear welted stitching, um, even the smallest detail like this here on the heel. So we call this in the trade, the gentleman's corner. It's a very slight bevel, beveled edge on the heel. So as you're walking, you're not gonna snag your trousers um, as you walk. It's a very, very simple solution, um, but it's kind of detail that Oliver Sweeney incorporates into all of its shoes. Right, and finally, one of our best-selling lines, um, the premium Oxford Brogue um, wing cap style in antique tan. So this is an excellent, um, sold at an excellent price point. We sell this below 200 pounds, which if you consider you're getting an all leather Goodyear welted, hand burnished uh, Oxford, it's unrivaled. And then to have the Oliver Sweeney brand name in there as well, if I hold them up like this, 
you can see the design touches that are going on here. So you've got that lime green insole. They've gone for the plain uh, leather colored sole, but again, you've got that fantastic ONS. So if you're walking about and you know, you're, you're, you're wherever you are on your commute or in the office, people recognize that. People know that you've paid for quality. You've really searched out and invested in uh, a brand which just focuses on footwear. That's what I like about Oliver Sweeney. Their footwear is second to none. I really have to say that Oliver Sweeney is a fantastic brand that we're proud to feature on our website. So that's just a very brief overview of five of, well, my favorite Oliver Sweeney shoes that we currently stock. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.